So the first song we played is called Heart in a Mouse Trap, um, and the second one was called Tomorrow to Today. They're both on our new record, The Maybe Boys. And uh, yeah, cool. What's uh, generally what's the songwriting process like for you guys? Um, do you kind of just uh, all bring something to the table, or is there like a slacker amongst you? Is there someone who doesn't bring like pull his weight at all? Because we can all of us, and because of that, we all work together. <laughs> all um, well, those two songs were kind of songs that like I kind of brought to the band, and then we just kind of like everybody kind of worked out their parts um, collectively. And there's some songs in the record that were, uh, you know, co-written um, between Bill and I. Uh, this old town, and forget how it used to be. Bill kind of wrote all the music and stuff, and we collaborated on the lyrics and the vocal stuff. Um, Dom's got a song on the record that he, he brought to the band, so it's it's always very different. It's just kind of whatever whatever we're feeling, really. And um, I'm sure you get this. Um, your sound is like it's new, but at the same time, like totally retro. So I'm sure everyone's like, "Oh, you're a throwback band or whatever." <laughs> but I mean, how long does it take you to develop that that style? Because it is it is very distinct, which is nice because everyone sounds the same. You know, it's like negative fifty years. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just by accident. It's a, the sound is like a culmination of everyone's influences. Everyone has a pretty different and diverse musical background or like stuff that they like, and then all of that is allowed to surface in this band because like no one's like, oh, that's too surfy or that's too country or something. It's like if it works and if you think it works, like usually we all trust each other enough to where it's like it can stay. And it just so happens that we all happen to like older music. Um, some, some cool back now. I think the thing about our, this band too is that uh, it's more just a vehicle for songs. It's not really like a, a blank band. It's more just, you know, especially with the record, everything's kind of all over the place stylistically and there's never, I don't know, there's something that makes it all work together but it's definitely not a stylistic thing. Um, yeah, the sound is a product right. of the five people working together, yeah. not the other way around. Mm. Cool. Awesome. So, how long did this album take you, you know, roughly? Like, I mean, were you guys living with these songs for a while? I know you had an album previously, but were you living with these particular songs for a while? Or did they just kind of evolve? Yeah, I mean, we were, we were playing a, a handful of them out at shows for a, a while before we went into the studio. Um, some were worked out in the studio. It was kind of all coming from different places as well. Um, what was the beginning of that question? I, I, have, no, I have no idea, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, basically, how long? How long the album? Oh, how long? Right, right, how long? I mean, we really only actually tracked for about two weeks, spread over a lot, like much longer than that. Over uh, yeah, but only like like sixteen sessions or so. Oh wow! Yeah. Know, if you count like full days. I love that you guys are from Philly, by the way, because like if anyone just guessed where you guys came from, Philly afraid? would probably be like dead last. <laughs> where do you think we're from? Maybe? I have no idea. I'll say Nashville, cool. just because uh, everyone's from Nashville. Uh, so we're not cool. fancy enough from Nashville. <laughs> they wouldn't let you guys like, in. in enough, like, really expensive American clothing. We're from Easter Island. <laughs> 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 so, was it hard for you guys? I mean, I'm sure you do these type sessions a lot, and like everyone has a session now, including the asshole filming you right now. Um, <laughs> but uh, is it is it nice? Because you've been you've been really praised a lot for your live shows and the energy and everything. Is it nice to just kind of chill out, just play the music? You know, totally. mm -hmm. it's fun to do a session like this and really kind of. I mean, we came in here and looked at our environment and kind of made the session out of that. So yeah. I mean, that's super exciting. And um, it's a different way to get to play together with these guys. Different point of view every night. What about recording? Like recording-wise, it's a different vibe, right, than being on stage because you have really oh, nothing yeah. but each other to feed off of. Yeah. Recording is like the closest to nine to five that I think a band usually gets. It's you're at home. You you work. You you get there in the morning. You work all day. You go home at night. It's very like it's nice and structured, and you kind of just like live within that, and then. Uh, Touring is pretty much the exact opposite of that. Recording is beneficial to health and sanity, and touring is terrible for both, but rewarding <laughs> in lots of different ways. I mean, just, you know, getting up in front of playing in front of people, it's because the kind of idea of like every night, you know, it's kind of like playing the song for the first time just because the audience is different and 
you know, feed off of them very much. So that's that's definitely different. And we tried to bring the live energy into the studio with us too. Most of the songs were tracked mostly live. So on every track of the album, at least a bulk of it was recorded live. There might be some overdubs on it, but the heart of it, at the very least, like the bass and drums are in the same room, and Dom and Bill were next to each other. So there's that human element that is like really hard to replicate if you're not doing it live in the studio. Cool. Awesome. Well, good luck, guys. Oh, you know, before I wrap up, I'm just curious. Like, you know, when you're in the studio, you're recording, you're recording, you're listening, you're listening. There's so many videos, like live performance videos on YouTube and stuff. Do you guys ever watch any of them? Like, if you have a good show and you just, like, I don't know, Google yourself and just see if the performance... So I would think, like, I don't think I've ever asked a band that. I'm just curious. Google I'm... ourselves oh, constantly. I think that's all, we, <laughs> right. that's all we do all day. You guys were Googling before you started filming. That's, that's, <laughs> I was like, guys, please. Take a Google break. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just curious, like, if you have a great performance, do you prefer to just kind of go off on that and live with it? Or do you just, like, damn, I want to see what I did, you know? I'm, I'm going to say that I just like to go off and live on it, but, I mean, everyone's got the internet in their pockets, so we look at everything. Everything's yeah. Nice. Yeah, I love seeing yeah. videos, because, I mean, usually it's, like, I hear stuff or see stuff that I totally don't remember, because in the heat of the moment. Yeah, and you're so yeah. drunk, probably. And I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to look back and, and learn from that stuff, whether it be a mistake or not a mistake. Especially if it's good. Nice. Especially well, if we're looking great. Especially if we're looking great. Mm. Mm. Well, as you can tell, I don't play back old interviews. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, well, thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate oh, and you're on tour, obviously, right? Yes, mm -hmm. we're all over on, on the roads these days. We're, uh, you can see all the dates at ohnotoysoldiers.com slash tour, or just go to the site and Click the tour button, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be in the Midwest, Southeast, Northeast, just about everywhere. So, sweet, come to a show. <laughs>